Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Carrie and this is Carrie Digital. I'm a Canva certified creative and a global ambassador for Canva. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create social media templates and graphics utilizing the quick create collection tool or feature, whatever you want to call it. But if you want to save time and enhance your productivity without the need to create graphics from scratch, this tool is definitely going to help you to step up your game and create content quickly and more effortlessly. Let's jump right into it. Want to learn how you can better utilize Canva in your business? Join me on the second and the fourth Saturday of every month starting October where I'll be going live on my YouTube channel. I'll be giving you all the tips, the hacks and the tricks on how to better utilize Canva in your business so you can build your online presence and better engage with your audience online. I'm excited to connect with you. So join me live every second and a fourth Saturday starting October. I hope to see you there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create social media graphics utilizing the quick create collection. So once you're on a homepage, you're going to look for the section that says social media. We're going to select social media and here you'll see all the options in terms of what you can create on Canva for your social media platform of your choice, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. But the thing is, as you select social media on the top bar, instantly you see the quick create collection tool. Now this tool, as it says, is the quickest way to create a collection of designs for social media. And so the thing is, if you don't have very good graphic designing skills, or if you have a little to no time to create your graphics, you want to just get something out there that is cohesive and on brand, then this tool is great for you. We're gonna select the button that says get started. And as it opens up, one of the things you'll see here is that it gives you so many options in terms of how to bring that social media graphic to life. But more importantly, it gives you the options of the type of social media graphics you can create. So you'll see in Instagram post square format for your story and this could be for your Instagram Facebook and even WhatsApp you have a Facebook post Facebook cover Twitter post Instagram not Instagram but Pinterest pin email at all and LinkedIn post, right? So pretty much Canva has summed up some of the most popular social media graphics that users are creating and makes it easier for them to create. In this video, we're going to create a quick collection for Instagram and your story. So since that's the most popular choice in terms of persons creating graphics, and I know I've gotten a lot of questions about creating graphics for Instagram using Canva, I'm going to show you how you can quickly do that in this video so one of the first things that it asks you for a format and you can select at least one and in this case we're choosing two once you have decided on the format of your choice then you can click continue however one of the things i want to point out before you even select a format is to be mindful of where you want this graphic to post because here's the thing with social media you have to ensure that the graphic you're creating is designed or custom as i said optimal or optimized for that platform right so don't create an instagram post for facebook post and don't create an instagram post for like a twitter post because the dimensions are different so bear those things in mind right so we've selected our format and we're going to select continue once you select continue you're seeing an array of designs available for you that you can choose from and it's quite a few here right so one of the things that you have to be mindful of now is how do i want my brand to stand out one what's the purpose of this graphic i am creating and you also want to be mindful of your brand's 
visual communication or brand identity how do you shop online and how do you want to shop online so if you're new to you know just creating a graphic like this and you have absolutely no idea then these are guidelines you should bear in mind however if you already have an existing brand which means you have your brand colors your brand you know your phones colors that kind of thing then you're in a good place because the thing is you just have to work from that point of reference right which is utilizing your brand guideline so we have seen the formats here and as i said earlier it's quite a few i'm in love with a lot of these templates because already you know there's something for someone so regardless of how minimalist you are or how fun and creative and you know vibrant and bold you are there is a format or a template design for you right and so pretty much on in this section you're gonna see text and you can look at the section that says add your main message here right so this is where your main text would go and it should be 25 characters not words but characters so that includes full stop and everything and then you have additional text which could be anywhere here and for each template format you see additional text and that should be 45 characters again that includes words full stops all of those things right so in this case i am not going to add anything right i'm just going to leave it as is because well actually i need to but in just for this purpose i'm just going to add something here right so i am thinking about creating this quick collection for um engaging my audience and so i'm going to write uh, something like right so i'm just repeating it here um because i cannot leave it blank and then for any additional text i'll just include that as well as well because you know it's a template so of course i want to be mindful that i can include text in this particular section right so i've included all that here and then i'm going to go to continue once i have selected continue i can upload a logo right i can even scroll through my brand kit so once i you have created a brand kit and with canva free version you can create up to three brand kits um let's correct that if i'm i believe it's three if it's not three i'll just let you know and with the pro version or teens version you can create unlimited brand kit here right and just to correct it's one brand kit that you can create with a free version of canvas so you have to be mindful of that right and so your brand kit includes your logo your font the colors of your brand and again that is the visual identity and how you communicate with your audience right so i'm not going to include a brand a like an image or logo so i'm just going to keep it moving no i'm going to select from this array of templates the the design that i would like to use and here you see categories such as phone so once i select phone i have an idea modern it shows me the modern phone geometric it shows me what that looks like elegant it shows me what that looks like simple it shows me what that look like as well organic right in my case i'm just going to look for the one that speaks to my audience and in this case i am going for something a little simple with just a unique you know vibe i also love this one but in this case and for this purpose i'm choosing the one here which i'd say it's more simple and have some very minimalistic style I'm going to select continue once i select continue i get a quick preview of what that text that graphic would look like what my text would look like on that graphic what the layout would look like right so those are things for you to also bear in mind in terms of how you'd want that graphic to look and feel no there's an original palette or we would call it a color palette which again comes back to how you want to visually communicate 
with your audience and i can simply just work with this original palette or i could go and choose a color from my very own um brand right so i have the brand here and again i can choose from the multiple brand kits i've designed i also have the option to shuffle these colors right so if i don't like how my color palette is represented on the graphic i can quickly shuffle and choose right here right so in this case i'm going to also show you that in case you don't have a brand um color palette you can choose other color palettes and again you can shuffle those as well right so you have quite a few here so many you can choose from and you can just make it fun make it your own make it unique to your brand but i want you to again bear in mind the guidelines to utilizing colors you don't want to be all over the place when you're designing your graphics also you want to be mindful of your audience i'll keep speaking about that because that's like a very important thing when we're designing graphics and you're positioning yourself online you want to ensure that your audience can connect with your message and connect with your brand and those are not just about what you say but how you look right so how you look online says a lot it determines if people you know will click on that graphic it determines if persons will engage with that graphic or um, engage with that content right so those are things to bring bear in mind and so for this i'm just going with a very basic um color palette i'm gonna shuffle it around so right now it's like fall season thereabouts i'm going for this pumpkin pie um color palette which i absolutely love then i'm gonna select finish so i've selected finish and just like that i have literally created my collection right so i can go here i can download my collection right I can simply download and that you see that your desktop or anywhere you so desire or you can go and see your collection so once i've selected see my collection one of the things is it creates a folder for me right automatically and i'm going to create this and call it pumpkin pie designs right so you're going to give that collection a name so that you can easily find it in the future right and then one of the things for me i'm going to favorite it right and i'm going to show you how you can find this graphic so for instance you close it out and you're like oh my god what if my graphics i'm going to surely show you how you can quickly find the graphic after you're finished designing them all right so we see the two formats here that we have just created quickly and i'm going to select your story and as i said earlier your story can be used for instagram story facebook story whatsapp status that kind of thing and so one of the things i want to point out to you is that once you've created this collection i like to call it like a template collection because in this case i'm utilizing it as a template collection you can quickly move around your designs or just the elements i should say as you so desire because you know it's not rigid you know that's the thing i love about canva it's easy to use if you decide you don't want that look and feel tomorrow you can quickly change it up so if i decide i don't know i no longer want pumpkin pie i can just go in here and choose from the array of colors or i can choose a color from my brand kit once again okay so i have that option i also have the option to move around like this circle so maybe i don't like the placement i'm going to move it and then maybe i want to add um an image or maybe i feel like this text is too large i can simply make it smaller right so my main message would go here and then if i want to add an image i can simply go to elements and then i'm going to look for the section that says grids and i can simply drag and drop right so i've selected my image my grid here right and then i can simply go back to elements and find a photo that i would like to utilize on this graphic right so in this case we're gonna just try and find 
something simple and nice all right so i have selected this one this image actually and i can simply resize it to my liking i can move the photos around to my liking as well also if i decide to put a photo in the background because maybe that's a vibe i'm going for just to give it a unique look and feel i can add that photo send it to back and i can also make it transparent right so those are some of the things i can do with my graphic i can also delete this particular grid and utilize a frame right so maybe i want to change you know the frame helps to give like the, your photos like a nice um layout or make the design more uh, palatable i'd say you know just so that person that can you know it pulls in your audience really right and so i'm gonna go here and drag and drop again so it's the same vibe that we're going for here right so my main message is here and if i want to add additional text i can simply put uh, um let's connect as a call to action so you want to ensure that you even include a call to action and maybe the message here is to check out my new blog post right um read or no maybe i should say visit my blog right or maybe you could even include your blog post title here right so those are things that you can put right so you know i've literally changed the text and made it my own right so one i have a main message two i have a call to action and you know once you post it on your social media platform of your choice in this case it is for instagram facebook and whatsapp then you can decide right so i've literally just gave given this design that i created in a quick collection like a nice boost right by you know utilizing the different color palettes adding my images that kind of thing making it fun but maybe i want to add an element another element and you know canva gives it an option to scroll and go through all the collections to find an element that you can utilize so i'm very big on like the abstract elements and utilizing them so i'm going to look for one here that i can utilize and pretty much you can just go in and utilize it have some fun with them and make your designs pretty much very unique right so i'm gonna duplicate this one i'm not gonna spend too much time on it just gonna just give you an idea of what and how you can utilize that graphic right so pretty much this is what we have here um in terms of our design and if you want to add an element behind it you know this is just like a nice fun way right to just give your designs or just show you different ways in which you can utilize this graphic which is really good right so these are just some little things here i'm not necessarily a fan of this and how it looks here but you know i'm just showing you for your purpose how you can literally utilize all the elements in canva just different elements to bring your design to life right so these are some of my you know own vibe and style i'm going for so fine this is what i have as a template so i'm going to save this one and call it my instagram story fine and that is saved i can go to file and here is where i can move to folder or just you know find the folder which is move to folder i go to your projects and here is where i'm going to look for i can search from the toolbar and it says pumpkin pie designs and i can move it here right and then i'm going to go back i'm going to do a quick refresh and then you should see my design in pumpkin spot in pumpkin pie 
designs right so we have the designs here it's not updated yet but pretty much if i go and select it i see the updated graphic here and the great thing as well is that i can make a copy of this graphic so maybe i like it and i want to just keep using this one or just change the text on it i can just simply make a copy of design and then of course you know you rename your design if you're going to make a copy right so those are some things and how you can quickly create your quick design we also have for the instagram post and it would be the same base of movement of how you can quickly move around your elements for this graphic as well so these are just a quick way easy way you can simply create your designs using the quick create collection let me know how you would utilize the quick create collection want more videos like this Subscribe to my channel at Carry Digital where I publish videos weekly on my channel for female entrepreneurs who want to monetize their skills online to achieve flexibility and financial freedom.